Hi everyone. With the release of console version 2.1.1, we get the new coverage feature, which basically allows users to have more visibility about which hotspots are transferring device packets, as well as seeing the status of those hotspots and allows users and businesses to really optimize hotspot placement to ensure they're meeting their business goals and needs. So to navigate to coverage from the flows page, over on the left-hand side under admin, you see the new coverage tab right there. So you can click on that. And it brings us to the coverage page right here. So there are three main features within the coverage feature. So the first is device coverage. So the hotspots listed below, these are all hotspots that provided coverage to at least one of your devices over the past 24 hours. So as you can see, I have what, nine or 10 there. And this shows the name of the hotspot. We're gonna talk about alias in just a second, where that hotspot's located, number of packets sent, number of devices, and the hotspot status. It's also showing over here on the map, the general region of those hotspots. You can hover over them, click on them, and show which hotspot is which. Um, if you wanna learn more about coverage, the whole coverage feature, you can click on this link and it will take you to the Helium Docs page on coverage. So one thing you can do from this list here is you can claim hotspots that you wanna follow. Now these aren't hot, these don't have to be hotspots that you or your organization own. They need to be hotspots that maybe you are interested in seeing like, okay, um, they provided coverage for one of my devices. I wanna learn a little bit more about that hotspot. So you can just flag it and it's going to show up on the next tab in the My Hotspots tab here. So coverage breakdown means these are all the hotspots that have successfully transferred packets to one of your devices or from one of your devices. And so you might have to sift through a kind of long list depending on where you are. If you wanna make that process a little bit easier, flag some hotspots, they show up in this My Hotspots tab right here. Going to unflag that and it gets removed. Um, if you want to learn more about a specific hotspot, you can just click on it. Again, shows the location. It's heard from one of your devices over the past 24 hours. You get a number of packets breakdown hour by hour over those last 24 hours. We also see the most heard device, the total number of packets, and the number of devices. And then it also can show you which one of your devices um, that hot that specific hotspot heard. Now, one thing I talked about, the alias right here, if we go back to the coverage breakdown alias, none of these hotspots on the list have an alias as of right now. If I click on Clever Tan Panther, let's say you have hotspots over a pretty wide geographical region, or you have hotspots in multiple warehouses or something like that. It's, it might be a little bit easier to give those hotspots aliases so you don't have to remember which... Um, which animal, which color animal, whatever that hotspot is. So if I click on this and let's say downtown warehouse. So now that hotspot has an alias, downtown warehouse. So now I know, okay, that hotspot's in the downtown warehouse, blah, blah. blah. Um, now I, I, it's easier for me to understand where that hotspot is without having to go back and do a little bit of research for it. All right, I'm gonna delete this alias. It's not actually in a downtown warehouse. One important note, this list under coverage breakdown, it only shows hotspots, like I said, that have successfully transferred packets. So if you wanna show all hotspots on this tab within range of your device, you need to make sure you turn on multiple packets over here on the left-hand side. We also have a tips and tricks video showing how to do that as well as documentation for that. And once you do that, you need to choose to purchase all packets. So assuming that there's sufficient data credit balance, console will purchase packets from all the hotspots that heard the device and then display them. All right, we looked at that. We looked at my hotspots. And finally, we just have hotspot search. So if you want to search in a specific city and see if there are any hotspots that have heard your devices, if you know hotspot names, you can search in here for that. So let's say you already saw I search for Chicago. Now I know that Chicago has a lot of good coverage, so it's bringing up 
over 2,800 pages of hotspots here. But this just shows if you wanted to find a specific hotspot in Chicago, this is going to list all of them here. And then it shows general region over on the map side over there. But so you also have the option to search for specific hotspots. Um, other than that, that that's about it for coverage. It's really simple. It's really easy to use. And it's also really helpful in making sure that you're optimizing, like I said, your hotspot placement and making sure hotspots are sending data and transferring packets and doing what you want them to do and providing the best coverage possible for what your needs and goals are. So if you have any further questions, make sure to check out, like I said, the link to docs. It's right here and learn more about coverage. Also link to this video, check out our other tips and tricks videos on YouTube and make sure to follow or join Helium Discord and join the conversation in there. Thanks everyone. Hope to see you on console soon.